We're gonna do something a little bit different 806 driver today. Stay tuned. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to 806 Driver. Well, today we're gonna do something a little different. Got 806 Junior with me. What's up? Got up this morning. He had a flat back here. I figured it'd be flat by the time we got it down here to the shop, but it's still holding there. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna I don't know. I don't know what it's got in it, what it's got going on, but we're going to take it off. We're going to dunk it in the tank, and if it's got a nail or something in it, I'm going to show you all how to fix it. So, uh, And also, at the same time, give my boy here a lesson on how to use the tire machine and dismount a tire and remount a tire and how to patch it and whatnot. So, heck, hang out with us. Check it out. See you on a bit. Get right here. I'll show you. There you go. That's high enough. You got your socket. It's in your glove box. No, that we, we'll use the electric gun, but you need your special socket. For these wheels, y'all, just like most typical custom aftermarket wheels, you got a special socket adapter to take them off. Has like a 12 point head here with a regular three quarters uh seven eighths fitting uh nut on the outside of it so we'll go over here about to take the wheel off we'll be back Together to the other side by the jack holder. Set the gun and the tool there. Right, pull the tire off. 
right, roll it over here and just lean up against the machine. We'll put a little more air in it. All right, just uh, visually looking at it here, we got us a, a nail here, and it almost looks like another nail. Where my camera at? Nail here, and the nail there. Crazy. Two treads apart. We're going to go dunk it in the tank, make sure those aren't our only two holes. Let's go, Bo. Pull it out. Let's go around those tires and. You know what that tank said over there? Hmm? Don't go through that gas. Don't dunk it all the way to the bottom meter because it'll it'll stir up all that dust and stuff in there. Just let it ease down in there and it'll float. And we'll just rotate it slowly. bubbles here one yeah. rotate it see it coming up okay, keep rotating Keep keep turning it. Come to it. I bet that's where the nails are. Is that it? I don't see them. Keep rotating. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's what right there. Yeah. Okay, I'll take it out. That's where they're going to be. All right, y'all. It looked like the bubbles were there where, where the nails were. Let's go ahead and take it back over. all right y'all what we'll try to do here first see if we can just pull the nails out with a pair of pliers if that don't work we'll have to break it down and we're going to, have to break it down anyway to patch it almost to the dang side i hate having to patch right on this ridge line here because it's a lot of times it's hard to get a patch to stick right there but we'll see what we can do 
the bed button. Just keep it on it. Where'd they go? Here. Yeah. Are they on the inside or the outside? I don't remember. A good thing to do too is to mark your spot where the where the nails are at two and then also I always like to mark my tire where my weights are and where the valve stem is and it's got something in the in the tray too, in the, can you see that? Yep. There's a rock up in there. We'll get that cleaned out. Yeah, y'all hear that? There's a rock or something right here. Got in between the bead and the, and the rim there, it's leaking there, there too. What we're gonna do here, take out our valve core. Well, we're gonna let it, let the air come down in it and then uh, we'll break the tire down. Over here this side. All right, folks. We got all the air out of it. I'm gonna use this spoon here to uh, break the bead on the tire, this bead breaker. Always stay away from your valve stem. Most of these valve stems, especially on your new ve newer vehicles, have a tire pressure sensor in them. So you wanna try to stay away from them the best you can. All you gotta do is press this button right here in the middle, this foot, this foot pedal. Break the bead. Get one part built, spin it. Oh, yeah, almost got on my valve stem. All right, right there, I'm far enough away from it. Right. We got one side broke down. Flip it around. Sometimes the back side always has a little finish with it. It's partially broke. Spin it again and you can... This is how to take care of it. Sometimes you gotta do it three times. These KO2s with good tires, sometimes they don't they don't break as good as they as a cheaper tire does. Break down as easy, which is a good thing. Hopefully we're broke loose there enough. Tie up on a rack. Again, you want to stay away from your valve core. Bring this in, adjust, use your adjusting knob. Get it set right. Call this a duck bill. Look at it, looks like a duck. Tire's already wet, so it should be lubed up enough to do this, but if you got a dry tire, of course, you wanna put a little soap around it. We stay completely away from our valve stem. If you get one side broke down, 
always try to rotate it on around past the valve stem. That way I don't get close to it. I'm breaking down the other side of it. My back side. There it goes. tire off come to our little machine over here where my marks at Our little light here is made for a semi truck tire to put on here so it kind of it don't fit in there just quite quite like you would want it to Let's see if we can find our nails it's like just one of them no they're both come both three completely through you got one here and one right here that other spot that was in the bead it was just a rock. I think when the tire got totally flat, that rock had got in between it, but the bead feels, feels, feels okay to me. And we're gonna rotate here to where the two nails are. Put our little clamps here in. This right here, pull a tire. Right, find our nails. Okay, first I need to go ahead and pull my nails out. I'll make a little mark on the inside of the tire where they were. That way, once I pull them out, I won't lose them. Lose where my holes are. Okay, there's my marks show where my nails are. When I pull them out, I'll still be able to see where the holes are. Should be able to get my little bitty short nails. My pliers go, boy. Scripts. Let me get these vice scripts in here. Yeah. One nail. Two nails. All right. Rotate it back down where where marks are here. Oh shit! There's another one. I just found another nail right here. They even be careful for filling around the whole tire. 
Boy, where you trying to throw all these nails at? All right, so upon inspection, found the third nail. That's what you call a trifecta. They're together, ain't they? Ain't through a group of them somewhere. See the head? Nope. She's down here somewhere. What's that right there? I'll be able to see if I can grab it. Move it around. Broke the, broke, broke the base of the nail off right here. Right, I think that one right there was just a mesquite thorn. They're tough. They will go through some tires, even some good old tires like this or some high, higher ply tires. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and just buff that one down and we'll put a patch there. Let Bubba hold y'all here and show you how it's done. Go to buffing. We use a special buffing wheel, and you don't want to just hammer on it and put gouges in it. You want to get a smooth, almost velvet looking surface on it. <laughs> you know, control, your, control your die grinder. We got a low speed one, but we don't have the adapter for it, so we're using a regular die grinder. But you just want to <laughs> you keep the speed slow. <laughs>
some uh, liquid buffer. We don't have any. So right now, I just use a little bit of brake cleaner. Throw some brake cleaner on there. Take a scraper. Scrape the area that you, you just buffed out. Look at it, it's got a little velvet finish to it. Try to get all the all the trash off of it. All right after you do that, find our find our patches here. bigger than that i really like to use round patches and not the square ones to me the round ones always seem to to hold better we're almost out of cement take your cement I dab it two ways. Let it set for a little bit. This is where the light comes in handy to let it set up. You want it to get pretty, pretty well almost dry looking before you put your patch on. I found a little bigger patch here. We'll use it instead. You can use a torch or a heat gun or whatever to kind of help it dry up. A lot of times I like to heat my patch up, especially if it's cold outside. It's not too cold today, so. Bubba getting some of his uh, stay at home homeschooling here. Real world application stuff. There's a hole right there. All right, that's about dry enough. Your beads are here and here, so this right here says to point your bead, point it towards your bead right there. So that's all we'll do. Stick it on there. Roll it out. Roll from one side to the other. That way you push your air out from underneath your patch. And after I kind of get it started, I'll let it. Let it sit down flat the way it sits in the tire.
one thing I probably should have done before I went ahead and put the patch in is vac vacuum out all that residual uh, rubber that I got when I was when I was buffing it. That sucker ain't even sticking. All right, y'all. That one didn't work. Let's go ahead and stop it. Oh, I messed up that first patch, y'all. Got it cleaned up a little better this time. I'm going to heat it up a little bit. Well. That's probably Harbor Freight for you, y'all. Things look brand new. My heat gun's at home. Well, never mind on the heating part. All right, folks, maybe it's dried up enough now. The secret is you gotta let that cement dry up a lot more than what you really think you, what you think you do. All right, that looks good, y'all. Always leave that plastic cover on. A lot of people will cut it off, take it off, but I always leave it on there. So we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing to these other two, and we'll catch y'all when we go back for the mount up. All right, y'all. About to mount this tire back up. Check it out. Get you some soap. Run around your beads. So I can get a rag. You seen we had that one rock around the bead, kind of clean your bead up. see a mark right here get as close to it as we can sometimes you can get that bottom bead on just like that sometimes you gotta have a little help top bead take the duck bill come around spin it back at us here a little bit should push down like that Better. Turn it off, brother. Okay. Uh, what happened, y'all? We kind of got these these bolts out here, kind of jacking us up. So we got her going there. He's on there. Now, our mark done traveled over here, so you can spin the tire, 
get lined back up to where it's supposed to go. Then, get our air. We're going to seat the bead. Watch your eyeballs right here. Put 40 pounds in this one. Well, we'll get this tire aired up and we'll get back with y'all. All right, we got 50 PSI in it. I'm gonna release it from the machine. We're gonna take it back out here and dunk it one more time and make sure we ain't got no air bubbles. Come on, bud. There's some marks where our holes are at, so. I don't see nowhere. I think we're in good shape. Go, Bubba. We're gonna, all right, we're going to reinstall here, y'all. first a little bit of that quarantine at the shop homeschooling y'all get all these uh get all your load nuts started by hand first good that way when you put the impact on them you know you ain't got a cross threaded uh stud or anything save you a lot of a lot of heartache This gun we're using, you don't really hammer on it real good. This is a Milwaukee half inch drive fuel impact. Got about 1200 foot pounds of torque. It, it'll get it done. I've, I've seen guys twist off lug, uh, lug studs with it on, on little pickups, cars, hell, even three quarter ton pickups, one ton pickups. We used to use these down the shop when I was in the oil field in Odessa, Midland, Odessa. Remember to tighten in a crisscross pattern.
everybody that's gonna be it for today we had our gopro our gopro mounted up here straight up here and it was catching a bird's eye view from the top but it ran out of ran out of juice on us took a little longer to do the tire than what i thought it was going to because uh hell we had three nails in it so but anyway it's a good day got a little homeschooling in we're fixing to clean up our mess here, which we got a mess, and uh, we're gonna call it a day. Go to the house. So, 806 driver, 806 junior. What we say? Yeah. We out. Y'all be safe. Doing a little bit of homeschooling today. Get that right, brother. You gonna get a hundred? Yeah.